Give it the sound test. You can hear it different. Alright guys, welcome back to the All Street Garage channel. We got some big things happening on this channel. Today we got to take our Kenworth and move it back to the garage. I apologize if I'm yelling, it's a little windy out here and we got both trucks running. So we're gonna take this old girl, bring her back to the garage because you know we're trying to light them all up and get them ready for you know the sequential order that we're gonna start working on them here. So let's go ahead, hop in this one, take her back, and then we got something really cool to show you once we're back in the garage. We got it in last night from FedEx. So, and it came in some massive boxes. And if you were on the Instagram or the YouTube or anything, you might have seen it already, but you don't want to miss this. So let's get going. Guys, we got the W900 pulled into the lot, parked next to Grandpappy's truck. You know, he took his time, made sure everything was right with that truck. We had a little bit of an issue starting it, tracked it down, put some new batteries in it, fired right up. Amazing what some, you know, fresh batteries will do for, for those trucks. So, but there is something that we've been meaning to tell you guys for about three months now with the day, uh, with the flat top truck. Guys, we decided that we're going to sell it. It just, it makes sense. Nah, I just, I can't. I can't do that to you. I'm just kidding. Um, we did get something in that uh, is really going to transform this truck uh, when, we, when we start tackling that interior. If you guys need anything upholstery, absolutely anything, call Todd and Anthony over at the Day Cab Company. We got into contact with them and told them we were looking for an interior for our truck. And wouldn't you know it? There she is. These are the colors that we're going to do. This is a burgundy leather with creamy white buttons. So if you guys remember, we were talking about doing this truck a two-tone where everything from about here down is going to be burgundy, tank, steps, everything. And about here up is either going to be a tan or a cream. So we got our colors now. This is the side panel that goes to so the passenger door will be right here. And this would be where you walk into the sleeper. But guys, check that out. I mean, look at the craftsmanship in, in this. And every panel, which is really cool that they do, is on the back of it, the person that makes them stamps the date as well as their name. So, James, over at the Day Cab Company, if you're watching our video, dude, you are a craftsman. That's for sure. These panels came out, I mean, it's incredible. We opened the box, so I was sitting there at the desk working, and all of a sudden I hear the semi-truck back up, and I'm like, man, what, what shipment we got coming in today? FedEx truck. I knew right away when he opened that tailgate and started bringing out these massive boxes. Everything that they send you is packaged up so that way I'm sure it can go through a tornado and come out all right. They take such an incredible amount of time on all these panels. You know, you wait a little bit, but it is well worth the results. Let's go look at the door panel because this is where it really gets cool. So check that out. I mean, I, I feel like I shouldn't even have to say anything. I mean, just, yeah. just look at the panel. It's, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. And once again, we got James putting it together right here. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. These, these are really going to make that in interior of the truck clean up nice. Everything's neatly wrapped around each, each uh, you know, curve of the panel. Everything's pulled tight so you wouldn't even notice. So you know what this means, right? The interior of the truck's gonna look this nice, so we got a lot of work ahead of us making sure the outside of this truck matches the quality that the interior is gonna be. So we already started pulling out the dash. I remember we, we did that maybe in a prior video where we showed the dash was painted up. Yep. The dashes, these panels are dirty as can be, but everything's painted the burgundy that the truck's gonna be that matches up with the burgundy of the interior. And 
now it's just crunch time to try to get everything together and put in. We got the dash out, we got the panels laying back there. You know, 30 year, 30 year old wiring can be a rat's nest. So we're going through it, making sure everything's cleaned up there. And then it's disassembly time. We got to rip a lot of this truck apart, even more than we did on the 94 over there, because we're painting the frame on this one. We're painting, you know, the steps and tanks and redoing basically all the lines on it. So that way when it leaves here, it's, it's ready to go. Whether it goes to work, whether we show it, whether we do anything. It's probably not going to be up to the quality of the, the big, you know, big time show circuits like the mats and stuff, but it's a work truck, right? If they're not making money, what the heck are they doing? So we're going to start working on this one. And I think Dave, it's time to put the camera down and let's get, uh, let's get tackling on some of this wire stuff. So let's go. I just got the driver's seat out we couldn't really film it because it was a two-man job to get it out of here but we're gonna take out the rubber mat flooring vacuum everything up clean everything else up and we're gonna put some boom mat in this cab um, try to quiet it down get some insulation noise barrier and stuff like that so and the floor is actually already done in like that boom mat dyno mat kind of stuff which is pretty nice you can see it up under there but we're just going to cover the rest of the truck here, the sides, even the roof and everything. So let's get to it. I think we should probably take off, you know, the lights and the horn and all that stuff while we're up here. So that way then we could just put new spots in for the new lights and stuff. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Well, let's, uh, let's get this mat out and then start vacuuming and then we'll, then we'll do what we need to. It's a little dirty. Let's do it. So Dave and I, we just ripped this whole floor out and ever since we bought this truck, it kind of had this funky mildewy smell. And when we flipped that mat over, there was like a bunch of wet spots on it. And the truck's been sitting inside for, you know, the last probably two, three months. So um, I think we found the root cause of that, uh, that stank. So we're going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up in here. Uh, nice part is, like Dave said, is this is already boom matted. So that's a lot of material we could save and we could put in, in other places around the cab to really deaden that sound out because we're going to put a rock and sound system in this truck. So we're going to have to make sure all these flimsy panels stay nice and tight and uh, try to keep that sound contained inside the cab. But uh, we got that ripped out. So let's go ahead and grab some, some scrub brushes, some, uh, what do you call those things? The cloths or the rags. God, I can't talk today. And a lot of bleach water because we're going to need it to really get the funky smell but before that we're going to vacuum it all up so that way then we'll be good to go all right so we had our little brother ethan stop on the way home and pick up some brand new boom mat it's kind of like the same thing as a dynamat just a different name uh, we did get a lot of it. So this is one of the biggest boxes that they make um, We've never really used this stuff before in one of our vehicles We put it in for the door speakers. So because we had a little bit of rattle, but all it is is just big sheets of like a um, Tarry substance almost and it's meant to reduce any kind of vibration or noise so we got 30 of these sheets in this box and We're hoping that should do us up for the cab. Uh, we didn't know the floor was done which makes you know, less, less that we have to use here and more that we can repurpose for either, like I said, 
doing a lot more on the doors or we put a lot more on the sleepers. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start sticking this stuff on. First time using it, so let's see how it goes. We got uh, the back here behind on both sides got it all laid in there pretty much all of it's covered and uh, stuff's actually really easy to lay down um, I know there's you're supposed to have a roller or whatever but we didn't realize that when we bought it but it I mean it's going down easy enough you just have to press it and smooth it out with your hand and stuff like that but it's, uh, it's pretty nice it looks a lot cleaner too than what it looked like before but it'll definitely help with noise as you can even hear it i mean just knock in there and it's definitely a lot quieter so let's uh get to the roof now all right guys so ron and i and ethan but he left uh but we got all the boom mat in uh we went all the way down the sides there down the middle up up here and then on the sides on the top as well um and laid we, down nice and easy yeah I mean, and this stuff pretty, looks great yeah it's awesome and you can Why don't you give it give it the sound test hear it different yeah i mean it probably makes no difference over the phone or a camera or whatever but there is a difference yeah yeah but um we said that this was dyno matted or, or this insulation stuff but this is actually really super thin stuff so what we're going to do is just go over it with the boom mat but we decided before we put in the carpet or or the whatever kind of floor we're going with in this aluminum truck, floor carpet yeah, we still decide but right before we put that stuff in that's when we're gonna uh put the boom mat on the floor because we don't want to we're already denting it up standing in these little chairs and everything um but not yeah. that it makes a difference just you know we just It'll look better yeah. for us it'll make us feel better but well, we're uh, gonna we got a lot of this stuff cleaned up back here got everything labeled this is really cool right here. It's an old flow scan instrument company gauge. This is actually a um, miles per gallon, or at least their best estimate of what this old B model is doing. So, and you can see that thing's made in 89, I believe the date. Yeah, data manufacturer 042889. So that's a really cool old feature like of this truck. Yeah. And I think we're gonna try to retain it, but you know, we may put a more modern one in here when we digitize, digital, digitize all the gauges, so. Um, I think what we're going to do though, now we got a lot of this cleaned up, we might grab the dash and see if we can at least put it in there. We're going to vacuum this all up one more time and see what it kind of looks like. Yep. I think that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and grab that dash. Dave and I, we just finished kind of mocking up the dash and putting it in here. And we noticed that it actually has a little bit of overspray on it, but that's nothing, you know, a little clay bar can't take off once we start putting all this stuff in here. But you can kind of get a little visual of what it's going to look like in here. Of course, you know, we're trying to visualize with the low ride and seat, steering wheel down low. I'm thinking, and what I was telling Dave is, we're going to have to get one of those old 90, or the 359 steering wheels in here, that white steering wheel um it honestly looks like ivory but it's not it's just kind of the old style steering wheel um because it is an old truck so 
But this is looking really cool. This color is gonna look great. We actually just had the door panel up against it, which we'll save that for another video when we're putting in the rest of the interior, but it looks really cool. I mean, really cool. Um, especially when we get the, the tan pieces running up here for the interior. And we did decide, we did make a decision uh, this afternoon that we're gonna go with the 12 gauge customs drop um, overhead console. And we're gonna do the double din radio head touch screen as well as putting our CV up there. So that's gonna be cool. And it's gonna be painted the same color as this, the burgundy. And actually we were just talking with E and let's here, let me get out of the truck real quick. Uh, before he had to take off and leave and he brought up a really good point he said okay we're gonna have a bunch of burgundy in the inside we're gonna have a bunch of tan and he's like you know when you open the door you want the attention to be drawn into the interior so what i think we're gonna do is actually the whole body of the truck as well as the hood we're gonna do a like a cream white color the same kind of color as the buttons and everything that's on the frame the motor and everything do a burgundy so let us know down in the comments if you think that's gonna look good. And the reason we were saying that is because the whole door cards are that tan color. So when you open this door and you got that tan hitting the, the cream white color, I think it's really gonna pop and it's gonna help draw you into the inside, which is our whole, whole intention behind doing the custom interior and stuff. So that's gonna look awesome, I think. It's just, we're gonna try to get the interior wrapped up, the rest of the dynamat laid in tomorrow. It's late right now, I think we're gonna be heading home, so. We made really good progress tonight. We can kind of start visualizing what it's going to look like, but we're heading out guys. We'll see you in the morning.